Hello, this is Pastor Brad Adoti coming to you with our daily devotion, Living by the Spirit, for Wednesday, October 21st. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I pray that this day I may live in your presence and praise you more and more. Lord Jesus, I pray that this day I may take up my cross and follow you. Holy Spirit, I pray that this day you will fill me with yourself and cause your fruit to ripen in my life. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Amen. Our theme for today is promise of support. And our reading comes from Joshua, the first chapter. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord, spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, My servant Moses is dead. Now proceed to cross the Jordan, you and your people, into, uh, into the land that I am giving to them, to the Israelites. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given to you, as I promised to Moses. For the wilderness and the Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites to the great sea in the west shall be your territory. No one shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall put this people in possession of the land that I swore to the ancestors uh, to give them. Only be strong and very courageous. Be careful to act in accordance with all the law that my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left so that you may be successful wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to act in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you shall make it your way prosperous, and then you shall be successful. I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord thy God is with thee. Remember that song, that camp song, uh, kind of that uh, very energetic. This is God's message to Joshua, to be bold, to be strong, to be courageous, and know that God is with him. Now, Joshua has been the assistant of Moses. They've been wandering in the wilderness for 40 years after leaving Egypt, and now here they are. Moses has died, and Joshua will be the Israel's leader who will lead them into the promised land, this land that God has promised their, their ancestors that they will receive. Well, it's not going to be an easy journey still, as they're going to have to fight for some of their land, but God promises him that he, that God will be with them that God will walk with them, that no one will stand against Joshua all the days of his life. So God promises to protect him, that he will not fail, and that God will not forsake him. Imagine the encouragement that this provides Joshua and the confidence he must have in leading Israel, knowing that God is with him. Isn't it so much easier being able to face a difficult task when someone else is with us? 
Here, Joshua has that promise that God is with him, that he will not fail. God is telling him to be strong and courageous, to follow the laws and to meditate on them day and night so he doesn't go to the left hand or to the right hand. What about for us? Are we able to meditate on God's scriptures, knowing that God is with them, with us, and uh, speaks to us through those scriptures? Maybe we can find a scripture or a passage uh, that speaks to us, and we can meditate on that, and within that we can have confidence to know that God is with us in order for us to be bold and courageous within uh, what God calls us to do. Let us pray. Oh God, we give you thanks for these words of promise. Promise that you are with us always, as you promise to be with Joshua as he takes over the leadership of this country of Israel after Moses. Lord, help us to know that you are with us as well, so that we can take that step to be bold and courageous, to know that we are not alone and that you will walk with us no matter what happens. We give you thanks for your love and your presence among us each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit fill you with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Amen. Have a blessed day.